Hey everyone, my name is Sophie from Sophisticated Organization. Welcome back to my channel. Today is gonna to be a fun organizing video and we're gonna be doing a little bit of exercise room organization. So I'm really lucky to have this workout room in our basement here, but I will show you kind of a before shot. Things are scattered all over the place. The only thing we really have in here so far is a treadmill and then a bunch of stuff on the floor and then old organizers, it's a mess. So I got a new unit that I think I'm gonna put on this wall back there. I played around with maybe putting it by the mirror over in the front of the room, but I think I'm gonna put it back there. And a few other products to organize all of our workout equipment, our weights, and some new stuff. And I wanna thank Best Choice Products for sending me a few of these items. I was really, really excited to partner with them because they are a great place to find a bunch of different home decor pieces, home furniture pieces, all different items in one spot. I got a console table I'll show you from them. I got a thing that I'm going to use and be a little creative to store some yoga mats and stuff. They even have exercise equipment, so I got some kettlebells from them. And what I love about their products is that they're high quality, they're affordable, and then everything has free shipping. So whatever you see as the price of their products, the shipping is built in, so it's really affordable and ships across the US, which is really convenient. So I need to start first by building the head console table. So wish me luck that I don't need to call Jim for backup, but I think that's where we should get started. From that little before shot, you could see how messy things are and the fact that we just don't have a lot of stuff in here in general. And I've been really wanting to put this space together a little bit more. And a reason that I want to do that is because I want to encourage myself to go down here and exercise. And having a space that's nice, neat, and organized encourages me to want to spend time in that area. And that is going to pay off with the exercise room here. So I have pulled out all of the pieces from the box to build this console table. I had Jim on standby in case I needed a little bit of help building this. I'm not the best at building furniture, but I will say I didn't need him for this. It was so surprisingly easy to build and it was extremely sturdy and is perfect for storing these weights. It is a console table, so you can use it for a TV. That's probably what it's meant for. You could use it for an entryway table. And I just really wanted to get creative with some of the products and the ideas that I had for organizing and decorating our workout room. I looked at Pinterest for a lot of inspiration and found those cube cubbies that you see a lot of times in playrooms or sometimes in offices. And I didn't want to go with that look. I wanted something to look a little bit more upscale. So this console table was perfect. It comes in three different colors. They have two different brown finishes, but I opted for this gray finish. And I think it does actually look really good in this room, especially once everything is all pulled together and is finished, which you will see in a bit. But in terms of building this table, you'll see really all I had to do was line everything up and screw the screws in. So I started by just placing them in the holes and tightening them with my hands. And then it comes with a little wrench tool. So I went back to all of the holes that I had just tightened with my hand and used the tool to get it as tight as possible. Again, because I am going to be putting some weights on here, I want it to be sturdy and have all of those screws all the way screwed in. I thought this specific table would be fun because it has a variance in heights and lengths of the different sections. So I bought a few different bins that will go on those spaces and I'm gonna leave some shelves empty. I'm gonna add some decor in here as well, just to make it feel a little bit homier in here. The other thing that we need to get in the exercise room, I think, is I really want to have a bench in here. Really all that I need when I work out is a treadmill, a bench, and some free weights for the most part. So after this project, it basically feels like our workout room is pretty close to complete.
I grabbed some of those bins that I bought to put on this table and I really, really like these bins because they have built in label holders and you can either slip a piece of paper into the label holders. They have a spot to slip paper in there or you could do what I'm doing and make your own labels to stick on top of them. But how cool is it that these bins have a spot to put labels on them already built in so you don't have to buy an extra bin clip or label holder to put on top of them. So I'm just playing around with how I want this to look spatially moving the bins around, figuring out where the new kettlebells fit and where my free weights should go. It's a good thing that this console table has higher sections because the kettlebells needed that extra space to fit. And the weights ended up looking really good on that longer shelf because I only have three weights, so it fit just great. Now I can get rid of that other organizer. We were using it for shoes in our hall closet before and I just used it as a makeshift weight rack. It looked terrible. So happy to get rid of that. And I'm going to grab some other things around the room. I'm gonna put our fan on the table here. And then the other product that I got from Best Choice Products is this laundry hamper. Now, yes, I used a media console table and a laundry hamper to organize my exercise room, but trust me here, I think it turned out great and I really wanted to get creative in a way to store our yoga mats here. So this would make a great laundry hamper, it really would. But I liked the gray with the console table. I like that it's divided. The liner in there is machine washable. You could pull it out. I might end up pulling it out actually. I'm not sure yet, but if it does get dirty, I can wash it and it is the perfect spot to store all of our yoga mats and foam roller. Now on to all of the little accessories. I dumped those out of the bin that I had and I'm going to sort through them, make different piles of what we have. And you'll see, I was just counting there to make sure I had four piles because I had four bins and it actually worked out just great. I have a couple of other items that I'm putting on the other tall shelf there. Those are gyms. I'm pretty sure he uses those for push-ups, and then there's an ab roller. I don't really touch those, but that was a good spot to put them. And I also bought some new microfiber exercise towels. Thought this would make it have an elevated look as well and feel like you're going to the gym to have towels down here. So it's nice to have a dedicated pack of exercise towels. And I was just gonna roll those up, make it look like a spa kind of, and put those in one of the bins. For the other bins, this large one I'm going to call recovery, I think. We have some massage roller type things, some stretching tools, some bands and stuff that are all for stretching and recovery. Then this bin is going to be miscellaneous workout items, some resistance bands. Those blue circles are really cool. You can put them under your wrists or under your knees when you do yoga or any workouts on the floors if you want to protect your knees, your wrists. I do them when I do push-ups and planks because I have really bad wrists, but if you have bad knees, you can put them under your knees as well. They're awesome. I got them back when I did yoga a whole lot more, but I still use them for other workouts. And then another thing that I have from doing yoga a lot or when I used to do yoga a lot are these yoga towels. So I had two of them because I was doing yoga so often. Jim has one and then I have one smaller one. So I will have a separate bin for all of the yoga towels as well. It's not getting better. I'm lying down. I'm in the room we used to share together. Where are you now? Are you okay? I'm not. Things ain't the same without you. I made some labels on my Cricut to go onto these bins. Again, if you're ever interested in custom labels, I do make these and sell them on my website. So you can head there and order a set of your own, pick your font, pick your color, all of that stuff, and give your space an upscaled, organized look as well. I started doing this while I was waiting for Jim to come help me with one of the final portions, hanging some artwork. And right as I was doing the recovery one, you can see Jim's foot. He walked in and he was ready to come help me. I took a brief pause from the label making and got the two pieces of artwork that I got. I kind of think they're perfect for the gym. It ties in all of that black that I have with the bins and the rods of the console table. It's so funny watching our different brains work. 
Jim is more like, let's just stick a nail on the wall and it'll turn out just fine. I want to measure from end to end and use a pencil and completely mark the center point and do everything with a level and a ruler, like I said, or a measuring tape. And I think we came to kind of a happy medium point. We ended up using a measuring tape and you'll see we're using a level here, but there was less measuring than I probably would have liked and a little more measuring than Jim probably would have liked. But in the end, I think we got them both level and pretty centered on the wall. We moved into this house in mid-September and we still don't have a ton of artwork. So that's one of the things that we still need to look for for our house to kind of continue to bring it all together. So that's one of the things that we need to look for to bring our house together, at least in my mind, to add some finishing touches. And it's funny because when we moved out here, when we had stuff to hang, my mom is like an expert when it comes to hanging artwork. So she helped hang all of this stuff and I haven't really had to do any of it and Jim hasn't had to do any of it. So this was the first time we've had to hang something in our own house on our own. With those things up, back to finishing up with the labels here. I just had a couple more for the yoga towels and the workout, and that was pretty much it. I had one more finishing touch here to add some more color and make it feel homey again and I had a little plant to put and I want to show you the final after because again I'm so happy with it and I've actually had the chance to work out down here a couple of times since finishing and I am in love with it. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you guys liked today's video. It was kind of fun to do like half organization, half room makeover. I am loving the way this turned out. I hope you guys are too. If you did, I would appreciate if you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And until next time, I will see you guys later.